Not everyone can afford to spend thousands of dollars on a fancy new gaming laptop. So in this video, I will review a budget gaming laptop that promises to deliver great gaming performance without breaking your wallet. Today we are looking at the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 gaming laptop. This laptop comes in both Intel and AMD configuration. So let's start with the pricing. The cheapest configuration of this laptop is currently going for only $680. For this price, you get an AMD Ryzen 5 5600H CPU, you get Nvidia GTX 1650 GPU, 8 gig of RAM and 256 gig of SSD storage. If you are on a very tight budget, I think this configuration will deliver the best bang for your bucks. But for $930, you could upgrade to the 12th generation Intel Core i5, Alder Lake CPU and the Nvidia RTX 3050 GPU. Here is a chart comparing the key features of both these CPUs. Ryzen 5 5600H offers 6 cores while Intel Core i5 12500H doubles it to 12. It does this by utilizing a hybrid micro architecture which is very similar to Apple's M1 chip. It uses 4 high performance cores that can reach up to 4.5 GHz and 8 power efficient cores. The end result is significant improvement in both the single and the multi-core performance. Take a look at this chart here. This is the Geekbench score of both these CPUs. As you can see in both the single and multi-core benchmark, Intel Core i5-12500H clobbers Ryzen 5 5600H. It comes out ahead by 22% in single core benchmark and a whopping 64% in multi-core benchmark. Now let's talk about the graphics performance. So the cheaper configuration of Lenovo IdeaPad 3 uses Nvidia GTX 1650 GPU. This is now a 3 year old GPU but it is still pretty good for 1080p gaming. Titles like Fortnite will play smoothly at default setting with zero issues. But if you want to play all the AAA titles in their full HD glory with ray tracing enabled, I would recommend going with the upgraded configuration of this laptop. This is because the upgraded configuration is using RTX 3050 GPU. In the Passmark G3D benchmark, RTX 3050 is almost 30% faster than GTX 1650. Added bonus is that it supports ray tracing and uses a newer generation of NVIDIA media encoders and decoders. So not only will it deliver a better gaming experience, it will also act as a very competitive video editing laptop for using applications like Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve. Now both these configurations have 8GB system RAM which is okay but if you plan to do any creative work on this laptop I would recommend upgrading the RAM to at least 16GB. Now the good news is that you can easily upgrade both the memory and the SSD storage on this laptop by just opening the back of the laptop and you will have direct access to the DIMM slots. Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is a budget gaming laptop and its build quality reflects this fact. So don't expect a fancy unibody metallic construction. Instead, you are getting a chassis that's built from polycarbonate and ABS polymer material. IdeaPad 3 weighs under 5 pounds and it's about 0.9 inches thick. In my opinion, Lenovo has gone for a simple yet visually pleasing design. The laptop surface has an IMR coating that gives it a faux metallic look. You get a full-size backlit enabled keyboard with dedicated multimedia media function keys as well as a numeric keypad. Now the keycaps are black with white lettering which offers a nice contrast for easy visibility in both broad daylight as well as in a dark room. I think it's a great keyboard not just for gaming but also for typing long documents. This is because its soft landing switches deliver firm keystrokes with uniform actuation force. Let's talk about the touchpad. So the touchpad is pretty large and it has a smooth mylar coating which gives it a faux glass-like feel. It works great for swiping, scrolling and executing various windows gestures. Moving on to the laptop hinge, so it's pretty solid but it does not go all the way back 180 degrees which you may or may not care but I like laptops which have that ability so that you can you know move the display all the way back. Lenovo IdeaPad 3 comes with a 15.6 inch LED backlit IPS panel with an anti-glare coating. The screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 and it supports a high refresh rate of 120Hz. It's decently bright, offering around 250 nits of peak brightness, 800 by 1 contrast ratio, 45% NTSC color gamut and a 170 degree wide viewing angle. So for gaming and watching streaming videos, I think this is a fine display as long as you are using it indoors. 
but it will completely fall apart if you take it outdoors or if you are sitting in a very brightly lit room. You also cannot do any kind of serious creative work on this laptop because the screen has very low color accuracy and it has low color gamut. But if you are willing to connect this laptop to an external color calibrated monitor, this laptop will transform into a very powerful editing machine capable of running applications like Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve. So I tried this and I had no issues with some basic 4K video editing that I did on DaVinci Resolve. I was using 8-bit video files that I got from my Sony camera. I was easily able to color grade my footage. I applied uh, fusion effects. I performed some green screen removal and this laptop handled all these tasks with ease. So if you are a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer or someone who edits videos, photos and dabbles in music production, Lenovo IdeaPad 3 will be a great choice. Lenovo IdeaPad 3 comes with a 45 watt hour lithium polymer battery that supports rapid charging thanks to the included 170 watt AC power brick. Lenovo claims 8 hours of battery life during continuous 1080p video playback at 150 nits of brightness, which is actually not very bright. So expect to get around 4 hours of battery life doing you know typical day-to-day -day work on this laptop. Obviously, when you are doing intense gaming, the battery is going to drain out very quickly. So be prepared to carry the power brick with you if you plan to do a lot of gaming. Now let's talk about the thermals on this laptop. So IdeaPad 3 has plenty of air vents on both its side as well as underneath the hinge and also on the back. So there are two fans, four radiators, three heat pipes that ensure adequate heat dissipation. Coupled with the copper heatsink plates that sits on top of the CPU, GPU and the VRMs, IdeaPad 3 runs pretty cool even under heavy load. So I stress tested the CPU by putting all the cores and threads at 100% load, but the CPU temperature remained under 75 degrees Celsius. It kept running at top speed, even turbo boosting from time to time and it never throttled. The onboard speaker on the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 are decent and they sound pretty good largely because they are angled at 45 degrees and they radiate the sound outwards. Let's quickly talk about the webcam. So the webcam is located on the top bezel. It's mediocre. It shoots in 720p resolution, which is nothing, uh, you know, great. I think it will suffice for uh, Zoom conference calls, but you should probably upgrade to a 1080p USB webcam if you are planning to do anything more demanding, say something like live streaming. Okay, let's talk about the ports now. So you get two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports and one USB Type-C port. Unfortunately, none of these ports support the Thunderbolt protocol. All you are getting is five gigabits per second data transfer for speed with these ports. You also get an HDMI port, you are getting an Ethernet port, there is a headphone microphone combo jack and as far as wireless connectivity is concerned, there is Wi-Fi 6 support and you also get the latest Bluetooth support. But you won't be getting a SD card slot and also there is no fingerprint sensor for passwordless login on this laptop. So overall, if you are in the market for a budget gaming laptop, keep Lenovo IdeaPad 3 gaming laptop in your shopping list. Its cheaper configuration is good enough for 1080p gaming and the upgraded version with the 12th generation Intel CPU and the RTX 3050 GPU, I think it's a perfect laptop for playing most AAA gaming titles. This laptop will also double as an excellent content creation machine. So if you are into video editing or Photoshop, you will like this laptop. But if you are someone who is looking for a more premium gaming experience, Check out my review of Lenovo Legion 5 gaming laptop over here. This laptop is the big brother of IdeaPad 3 and it should be a better choice for pro gamers. So go ahead and watch that video over here and I will see you guys over there. Bye.